Fun with Flags, Swiss edition. Hello and welcome to Fun with Flags. Now, today's episode of Fun with Flags is not fun. But it is important. Argal is one of the more northerly cantons of Switzerland. It comprises the lower course of the river Oro, which is why the canton is called Argo. In Egyptian Aru means reeds. In the Egyptian mythology reed fields are the heavenly paradise, where Osiris ruled after he became part of the Egyptian pantheon. It has been described as the soul of the Nile. Only souls who weighed the same as the feather of Ma were allowed to start a journey to Aru, where they would exist in pleasure for all eternity. On the left side, the flag of Argao shows three white waves on a black background. The waves represent the river war and the black represents the element earth. Black earth was a very important concept in ancient Egypt. In fact, the ancient name for Egypt, Kemet from which we derived the word chemistry means black earth. Egypt was also nicknamed the land of the riverbank. The three stars on the right side are supposed to represent the brotherly unification of the three confessions, Catholic, Evangelic and Jewish. Even though the arrangement on the flag is different, when thinking about three stars, the belt of Orion comes to mind. There is a theory that the three pyramids of Giza are arranged in a way to correlate with the three stars in the belt of Orion. In Egyptian mythology, the Orion constellation was named Sa and represented Osiris. One official interpretation of the flag is that it represents all four ancient elements the stars for fire, the waves for water, the blue for air and the black for earth. Proudby and the is the largest and easternmost canton of Switzerland. It's consisting of three different parts. Proudby and means bound of the grace. Mostly relevant is the black Capricorn looking to the left side, which of course refers to the constellation of Capricorn. Capricorn is often associated with Satan. The sun is crossing Capricorn in the deepest of winter when the days are the shortest and darkness prevails. Schaffhausen is a canton in northern Switzerland. The flag of Schaffhausen shows a black ram on golden background, looking to the left side. Greek mythology knows the concept of the golden fleece, which consists of the gold hair of a winged ram. The ram is representing the constellation of Aries. Aries is a sign of spring, thus representing the idea of a new start. There is also the concept of Remy and the battering ram. Thurgau is a northeast canton of Switzerland. The flag of Thurgau shows two golden lions facing to the left. The lions fit the constellation of Leo and the sign of Leo. Thor is the name of the river, possibly derived from the name of the god Thor representing Jupiter. Left-facing lions are very typical in flags all around the world. This image shows two lions guarding a gate on Mycenae. Basel is Switzerland's third most populous city, located where the Swiss, French and German borders meet. The town of Basel was called Basilia in Latin meaning kingship. The flag of Basel stop shows the black staff of a bishop. It has a similarity to the black knight of chess. The staff is surrounded by three rings, just like Saturn. Basel land has the staff inverted and facing the right. Together they make an opposing pair. The coat of Basel is typically supported by a basilisk, meaning little king. In European legends, the basilisk is a legendary reptile reputed to be king of serpents and said to have the power to cause death with a single glance. The name Appenfelder derives from Latin to Bathys cell meaning cell of the abbot. The canton of Appenfell is split into two parts. Both have a flag that show the black bear looking to the left side. Facing the left side is very typical for animals that represent constellations, because the left is associated with the west. The sun and the stars rise in the east and travel to the west. It's interesting that there are also two bear constellations. Earth a major and Earth a minor. 
The flag of Canton Appenzell de Usert Roden also shows the letters V and R. Officially it is supposed to mean outer roads in Swiss German, but from the context we can also assume that it might mean Ursa which is Latin for bear. The flag of St. Gallen shows a white fasci on green background. It's a very powerful symbol that is rooted in ancient Rome. A ring of sticks, bound around a center axe or axis. It's pretty hard to look over at the fact that it is a perfect symbol for representing tyranny. One ring to rule them all. And in the darkness bind them. In mythology and fantasy, dwarves are often portrayed as fascist imperialist miners and they fight with an axe. URI was one of the original Swiss cantons and Bern is the capital of Switzerland. Both flags share the same color configuration. Red, black and gold. As mentioned before, the left facing bear represents the constellations of Ursus. The bull in the flag of URI is actually an extinct Aurochs and represents the constellation of Taurus. The bear and the bull represent two principally opposing forces. The bear directs his power downwards, while the bull directs his power upwards. In the financial market, the terms bull market and bear market describe upward and downward market trends. Here we have statues of the bear and the bull in front of the stock market in Frankfurt. And the bull in front of the New York Stock Exchange. The flag of Geneva is also in red, black and gold and is often depicted under a rising sun. Geneva has the motto post TDNEBRA's Lux, meaning light after darkness. The left side shows a black eagle facing to the left. The right side shows a golden key on red background. The eagle corresponds to the constellation of Aquila. While the official interpretation of the meaning of the name Geneva is that it is just a name, it can be speculated that it may refer to the idea of generating Eve. In alchemy, the principle of generation is typically represented by a octahedron representing the element of air. The eagle is definitely ruling the element of air and air is typically denoted by the color yellow. In the field of human genetics, mitochondria refers to the matrilineal most recent common ancestor of modern humans. She was the woman from whom all living humans today descend, on their mother's side. The flaps of the three cantons Luzern, Sibira and Thug are all blue and white only. It is notable that those three cantons are close together and all have the letter Z in their German name. It's not officially known where the colors came from, but blue suggests water. All those three cantons have a lake. There is a controversial interpretation that suggests a holy meaning rooted in Eucharisty and Michael theology. However, there is no way that this would be admitted or recognized soon, because it doesn't fit the current zeitgeist. Let's have a look at the most prominent landmark in the city of Lucerne. The famous water tower. Check out the characteristics. The dark white type, topped by a brown cap. Here we have the same in nature. Those are sacred psilocybe mushrooms that have a potential of inducing religious experiences when ingested. They have white flesh, but when they are dried for consumption, the parts that are exposed to air turn blue. This is because of the psilocybin. The more blue they turn, the more potent they are. It's a sign of good quality. In this image of the water toter, we can see a famous Jesuit church in the background, with copper blue onion roofs. Onion roofs. Yeah, sure. As if onions would have entheogenic properties. This is not specific for Switzerland, but is used all over the world. A good example are the cathedrals in Moscow, with their white stems and their golden onion roofs. Oakwalden and Nenwalden means upper and lower woods. The flaps are both red and white and show two keys. In the part before we have already seen the importance of sacred mushrooms. This one takes it a step further. Mycotheology is the theology in relation to mushrooms. 
a very famous, but controversial researcher in the field was John Marco Allegro. He wrote a book named The Sacred Mushroom and the Cross in which he explained how many religious myths are based on the Ammonite Amuscari mushroom. Ethiogens are really the key to access religious experiences. And some of them grow in the woods. The flag of Solar Fern simplifies the sacred Ammonite Amuscari mushroom as far as possible. It's just red or but white, nothing more. Freiburg means free castle and is similar. It shows black above white. The Ammonite Amuscari has an evil twin brother that is black. It's the Ammonite Hand Arena mushroom. Black above white is also a typical style for Templar flags. This shows the Templar gone to on. It's a type of medieval heraldic flag or banner. The Canton of Schwiz has a red flag with a white cross. This is also where we got the national flag of Switzerland. It has been reported that the meaning of the name Switzerland or Schwiz was derived from the French term Sos de Isis, meaning Sisters of Isis. This makes sense considering that Paris, the capital of France, has a similar meaning the woods of Isis. So, how does the sacred mushroom relate to the cross? If you want to know you should probably read John Lecro's book The Sacred Mushroom and the Cross. Musca is the Latin name for the flight. It is relating to the Musca constellation. The Ammonita Muscari is sometimes nicknamed the Lord of the Flies, an evil deity that is known by the name of the Els above. Right above the constellation of Muscat the Flight, there is another constellation, named the Southern Cross. The Southern Cross is used in flags all around the world. This is what the flag of Switzerland is all about. It's in essence the Southern Cross in the colors of the fly mushroom. The Ammonita Muscari is the Holy Grail of the Templars. When the mushroom grows old, it turns into gold and opens up like a chalice holding the blood. This is the symbolical essence of Eucharistic. Eat my flesh and drink my blood.